A staggering shift in the Texas border situation unfolds as the state deploys approximately 200 specially trained forces to intercept or deter illegal entries. This strategic maneuver comes in response to the impending arrival of a massive migrant caravan in El Paso, a caravan that's estimated to house at least 2,000 individuals seeking entry into the United States. The state's decision to deploy these forces underscores the escalating tension and complexity of the border situation. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, in collaboration with former senior advisor to President Trump Stephen Miller, has been vocal in his criticism of the Biden administration's immigration policies. They accuse the administration of various acts, including releasing, resettling, and rewarding migrants with benefits such as cash, work permits, free hotels, flights, lawyers, health care, education, and prepaid debit cards. The deployment of this specialized force is not merely a response to the incoming caravan, it's a statement, a testament to Texas's determination to enforce its own immigration laws and protect its borders. The move sends a clear message to the federal government and to the public. Texas is taking control of the situation and is prepared to face the challenges posed by the migrant crisis head-on. Meanwhile, Border Patrol agent Art Del Cueto paints a grim picture of the situation, highlighting that drug cartels strategically control migrant caravans. These cartels split apart the caravans determining where they will cross the border. The aim? To distract border agents and continue their nefarious drug smuggling operations. Caught in the crossfire of this situation are the migrants themselves, many of whom are fleeing desperate circumstances looking to the United States as a beacon of hope and opportunity, yet they find themselves pawns in a larger, more complex game of political maneuvering and cartel strategy. As the Lone Star State braces for the incoming migrant caravan, its response has sparked a nationwide debate. The Texas border crisis continues to unfold, with each development painting a more intricate picture of the challenges faced by the state, the migrants, and indeed, the nation. Governor Greg Abbott and Stephen Miller, former senior advisor to President Trump, have voiced strong criticisms against the current administration's immigration policies. They argue that these policies are not just lenient, but alarmingly generous, offering a veritable treasure trove of benefits to those entering the United States illegally. According to Abbott and Miller, the administration is effectively rolling out the red carpet for migrants, providing them with cash, work permits, and a host of free amenities and services. These include hotel accommodations, flights, legal representation, healthcare, education, and even prepaid debit cards. They argue that these actions not only incentivize illegal immigration but also reward it. The potential implications of such policies are profound and far-reaching. Critics argue that it could lead to a significant increase in the number of migrants attempting to cross the border illegally putting additional strain on border control efforts and resources. Moreover, the question arises, how will these policies impact the American taxpayer? Providing such extensive benefits to illegal migrants is not without cost, and these expenses will inevitably fall on the shoulders of the American public. Furthermore, Critics warn that these policies may also send a potentially dangerous message to other nations, that illegal entry into the United States comes with rewards, not consequences. This, they fear, could undermine the country's sovereignty and security. The political tension continues to escalate, as the debate over immigration policies heats up. On the other side of the coin, Border Patrol agent Art Del Cueto unveils a chilling reality. Del Cueto reveals that drug cartels are not just passive observers in this border crisis. They are active and strategic players, manipulating the movement of migrant caravans for their own nefarious purposes. These criminal organizations cunningly control the flow of migrants, splitting caravans apart and determining where they will cross the border. But why, you may ask? It's a game of misdirection. While border agents are occupied with intercepting and managing the migrant influx, the cartels seize the opportunity to continue their illicit drug smuggling operations unimpeded. The caravans serve as a smokescreen, diverting attention away from the cartel's criminal activities. It's like a magician's trick. While the audience is focused on the spectacle, in this case the migrant caravans, the real action is happening elsewhere. The cartels are exploiting the chaos and the stretched resources at the border to slip their illicit cargo through unnoticed. This is a calculated move by the cartels, adding another layer of complexity to the border crisis. It's not just about immigration policy or humanitarian concerns, it's also about organized crime and how it exploits and exacerbates the situation. 
This disturbing revelation adds a new dimension to the border crisis, underscoring the complex and multifaceted challenges faced by border agents. Amid the escalating crisis, a federal judge appointed by Ronald Reagan has thrown a wrench into Texas's border control efforts. This judicial intervention has halted a law that, if implemented, would permit the arrest and deportation of individuals entering the country illegally. In essence, this law aimed to empower Texas in its efforts to control the influx of migrants. However, with the blockage of this law, a legal tug of war has ensued between Texas and federal authorities. The crux of this battle lies in the question of who holds the authority to control the border and implement immigration laws. While Texas argues for state sovereignty and the right to protect its borders, federal authorities counter with the supremacy of federal law. This legal stalemate adds yet another layer of complexity to the already volatile situation at the Texas border. As the legal battles continue to unfold, they ultimately shape the landscape of border control and immigration policy in the United States. In the midst of the political and legal turmoil, border officials share their first-hand experiences of the chaotic and dangerous situation at the border. The Texas Department of Public Safety and border officers paint a vivid picture of the realities they face. They recount instances of migrants breaching barriers and assaulting soldiers, a startling display of the desperation and determination driving this crisis. These officers bear witness to the human drama playing out at the border, a drama fraught with danger and uncertainty. The need for effective deterrence and consequences is a recurring theme in their narratives. They highlight that without these measures, maintaining order and ensuring safety becomes an uphill battle. As they grapple with this complex and volatile situation, their concerns underscore the pressing need for a thoughtful and comprehensive approach to border control. As the border crisis continues to evolve, the voices of those on the front lines echo a desperate plea for a more effective and humane approach.